Once upon a time, there was a little boy who was left behind in the cornfields. A peasant landowner and his wife found him and named him Johnny Corncob, Kukorica Janci in Hungarian. His stepfather was very strict with him and from a young age he had to work as shepherd on his estate. Janji had a sweetheart, Iluska, who was also an orphan and in the care of her stepmother. She was a cruel woman, or one should say a witch, who overworked and mistreated her. One day, Janji and Iluska met at a stream where Iluska was washing clothes and Janji was tending the sheep. They were so engaged in their conversation that they forgot about their duties. When Ilushka's evil stepmother noticed this, she became furious. Janci protected Ilushka, but while he was doing so, he lost sight of the herd of sheep, several of which wandered off. His stepfather was so angry that he chased him away. The young couple had no choice but to say their sad goodbyes. Not long after, Janci was wandering the fields and, by sunset, reached the forest. Here he came across the dwelling of twelve robbers. They first wanted to kill him, but eventually decided to befriend him, because Janci pretended to want to join their band. At night, after all the robbers had drunk themselves to sleep, he set their house on fire to make sure they could no longer do harm to anyone. Janci continued his wanderings. One day he saw a company of hussars on horseback. They were on their way to France to help defend it against the Turks. He decided to join their ranks. The hussars were facing a long and adventurous odyssey. First, they had to go through Tartary, a dangerous land, which they could only cross with the help of the King of Saracens. In Italy, they had to endure freezing temperatures. They got off their horses and threw them on their shoulders to protect themselves against the cold. Then they had to cross mountains so high that they seemed to reach the skies. In India, they suffered from extreme heat. To quench their thirst, they squeezed water from the clouds. To satiate their hunger, they swallowed air. Their horses kept tripping over the stars. Finally, they reached France. Here Janci saved the king's beautiful daughter, who had been kidnapped by the Turkish Pasha. The king was so grateful that he offered him half his kingdom and his daughter's hand. But Janji politely refused both. 
He told the king the story of his life and spoke about his love for Irushka. The king then named him John the Valiant, Janos Vitéz in Hungarian, and gave him a sack of gold as a token of his appreciation. John got on a boat to sail home to his beloved Ilushka. But while at sea, a huge storm broke and the boat was stuck by lightning. John survived by grabbing a cloud and holding onto it tightly. He then spotted a griffin on top of a cliff. He jumped onto the creature and flew back home on its back. Having returned to his home village, John learned that his beloved Ilushka had died. She had not survived her evil stepmother's abuse and torture. John went to the grave of his sweetheart and plucked the rose from it. 